Hi, this is Joe from Survival Gear Reviews, and today we're going to be going over the GSI Outdoor Salt and Pepper Shaker. In the bottom section right here, this piece pops off, and you can find a large filter. And then the top piece here screws off. And there's this filter right here with all these. One side's closed off, and there's holes on the other side. Now the large filter, you can use that for, let's say, you want to get rid of your salt for whatever reason. You can just pour that out, and there you go. The salt's all gone, and yet the pepper is still in there. And let's say you just want to fill it back up. It's also super simple. I just use this filter right here. I'm going to pour some salt in there. And there you go. And then this piece here just pops off. I'm going to reattach the other filter. I'm going to screw the lid back on. This piece here pops on the bottom, and this has little grooves on it, and those grooves pop into place to make it nice and secure. Um, as you can see, it's about the size of hmm, my thumb. There it is in my hand. I don't really have a good comparison, but it's not very big. Uh, now, it is supposed to be waterproof. That is why I have the water here. So let's test that out. This is some um, ice cold water. So we put it in there. Let's shake it up a bit and see. Let's see what happens. If you notice, it is floating on top there, so if you do drop it into a river, stream, or lake or something, it will float so you'll be able to grab it easily. Let's take it out. Let's make sure it's nice and dry. That way, there's no outside contamination from my hands or from the outside of the container. So we can make sure that all the ingredients are nice and dry on the inside. There we go, let's open this up. And it is completely dry. There's not a drop of water in there. Um, it's also completely dry right here, so it definitely passed the test, and it does hold quite a bit of salt and pepper. I did measure it out one time, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Thanks for watching the review. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Survival Gear Reviews. Thank you.